Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Friday, August 2nd, 2019. Before I even get started, I'm going to ask you to share this video because I'm going to cover I'm going to cover things in this video in a way that I want you to start thinking about um, well, your investments that only make money in this market on the long end. For example, like a 401k plan or any type of uh, investment in the stock market that only gains if the stock market goes higher. Um, let's, uh, let's start off here with the basics. As I am doing this video blog, stocks are down again. Nothing major, but are down nonetheless. I don't know how many of you pay attention to the global markets, but we had a global market sell-off. Um, this, there are several factors playing into this. Obviously, it's central bank policy moving forward. The system is saturated, saturated with debt. Uh, and that's the only thing that has been propping this up for, well, for almost a decade now. That's the truth. It is not the fault, literally, uh, of many of the current leaders, including the President of the United States, uh, who I do put a lot of blame on a lot of times because as candidate Trump, he had it right. As President Trump, he wants to keep expanding the debt. Okay, so with that in mind, we, we are really entering a phase here of maximum debt saturation on a global scale. It's being reflected in the debt markets and it's affecting the global stock markets. What do we know? In the history of the world, we have never seen a world more awash in debt than we have right now. It's a bubble of epic proportions. There's been nothing like it in the history of the financial world by exponents, nothing at all. This is uncharted territory. So again, knowing that, you have to understand that central banks and world respective leaders that have allowed this, this monster to manifest itself really have no escape plan. They have no idea what they're doing. There are no models here. This is all like, like Star Trek, you know, where no man or woman has gone before. It's the truth. But we can get clues by looking at the largest aspect of this market. I'm referring to the debt market. We can also get clues by looking at the global economy. Unless you don't have a clue at all, the global economy is slowing down. Here in the United States, our economy is in free fall, despite what you're hearing. I mean, every metric that you want to look at is negative. Uh, some of them haven't been this low since 2009. But again, the illusion is being kept real by stocks being near record highs like now, although they're under pressure. Uh, and politicians explain to you that our, our economy is as strong as it's ever been. This is a complete falsehood complete falsehood and the bond market knows it's a falsehood uh, and the fact that world central banks and their respective leaders are calling for rate cuts weaker currency should give you a large clue that what you're hearing and what's actually going on are completely different things and I think most of you get that okay so just today we got another bad economic report. The jobs number missed the mark, not by a large margin, but missed the mark nonetheless. I mean, it's unbelievable that we haven't had a single round of good economic news and as far back as I'm sure that you can remember. We just don't get it anymore. And the worse the economic news, it seems the higher the stock market goes because it's hoping for more easy money from the Fed. What does that do? It feeds the debt bubble. Now, you've heard me explain to you for a very long time that no matter what the Fed would do uh, to the short end of the yield curve, again, the Federal Reserve just cut the federal funds rate by 25 basis points. I explained to you that the, that really uh, is a gesture to the stock market to say, hey, we got your back. But again, we're reaching a moment of maximum saturation here. We might even be at it or very close to it. Now, despite the fact that the Fed has cut the, the federal funds rate, which affects the very short end of the curve, I told you from, I don't know, months and months and months, and maybe even a year ago, that it would not do anything to the long end of the yield curve, which keeps coming down. The you, here, let me just show you this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, visuals are always good. Let's start off here with the 10-year and the 30. 10-year, 1.87. And the 30-year, 2.4. You see that? Now, 
it wasn't too long ago where the 10 year was solidly above two, and the 30 year was like 2.6. So the longer end of the curve continues to drop. I've explained to you, we are going to get a full on yield curve inversion. Right now we have an inverted curve, and I want to show that to you too real quick so you can get uh, a handle on it a little better. I want you to look at the one month 2.116. It's yielding much, much higher than obviously the 10 year. Okay. See the 10 year? So the rift in this yield curve is pretty incredible. Now I want you to focus on something else. Look at the two year, US two year, 1.72. Look at the 10 year, 1.87. The reason why the market hasn't been market participants haven't been uh, flipping out is because they're waiting for a 210 inversion which is going to happen okay and that's really a lot of the premise of this video here um, when that happens or when we start to get even closer to it people are going to start to panic and they're going to start to dump stocks we've seen this before you understand so what is the question the question is very simple for those of you that have an interest, I'm sorry, uh, a 401k plan or an investment that only makes money when stocks go higher, you have to ask yourself this. Do you believe the, the stock market is more than likely going to gain 20%, let's say, uh, over the next year or so, or is it going to lose 20%? in the next year or so. Gauging from what I'm looking at now in with regard to the yield curve, I think the odds are greater that we will lose 20%. And it could be much, much more. Again, no one knows where the bottom is in this market. And why am I saying that? Again, the last meltdown at Dow 6000 is when the Federal Reserve stepped in here and started buying everything. Dow 6,000. Dow could have been, the bottom could have been Dow 2,000. We don't know where it is. We're at near Dow 27,000, 26,000 and change right now. The bottom could be ta Dow 2,000. I know how extreme that sounds, but we are in an extreme environment. We've never been here before. So you have to ask yourself, again, I explained to you yesterday that I do not believe there's a single one of you out there, and I'm not putting you down, but no one is smart enough to know uh, exactly when they should pull their cash out of the market. It's greed. You understand? If you are happy with your returns in, your, in, the, in the stock market right now, and I'm sure most of you are, that have a 401k plan, I mean, we're at near record highs here. Are we going to, going to be able to maintain this in an environment where rates keep dropping like this and the Fed is powerless to stop the long end of the curve from dropping and we are going to get a 210 inversion? It's happening. Look. Look at my record, all right? I've been explaining to you blow by blow what would happen to this market before it happened, and I have not been wrong. So what I'm trying to make you understand is I know what I'm talking about. I have a, a following around the world, over 90,000 strong. So I'm saying something that people are connecting with. So I want you to think about these things as well. Don't let greed overpower you. Greed is not good, okay? Although it seems it's legal, all right, from the movie Wall Street. But you have to really start asking yourself where you believe the stock market's going to go. Now, you've heard me tell you about record high, record high, record high, record high, and I've nailed it over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Now, this whole thing with this, the China trade war, which we're now going to hit China with more tariffs, is going to hurt the U.S. economy. The president knows it. This was a deliberate act. Understand, nothing happens by coincidence. On Wednesday, we get the, the Fed cut of 25 basis points. The next day, the president hits China with more tariffs. He could have waited. He didn't. It was a strategic move. And... Kind of in an in evil, smart way, if you think about it. He wants the Fed to cut rates further. What better way to do that than to hit the U.S. economy and force the Fed to cut rates deeper? You understand? I've explained this to you in the video I did yesterday. 
So the president wants rate, the, a rate cut, but understand, looking at the yield curve, it's, going, it's only going to make, at this point, because I believe we have hit that maximum saturation point, or very close to it, it's only going to make the distortions that exist in the debt market worse. Okay, It's not going to help anything at all. Um, and again, the, we're going to watch the trade deficit with the United States and China get exponentially worse. Prices for everything are going to start to go up. Do you want to laugh? Uh, you, may, you, might as, you might want to sit down for this one. According to the Federal Reserve's data, you can go to their website, prices are not rising. Can you believe that? Uh, I, oh, I would also believe that according to the Federal Reserve's data, uh, products are not shrinking either. People, you can't make it up. You have to look at this through your own eyeballs. Okay, don't listen to what anyone is telling you, even me, all right? Put what, what I say to you, I want you to think about it. I want you to do your own research about it. I have nothing to gain here, all right, by telling you this. I'm not, I'm not a politician. I'm just sitting here trying to outline what's happening in this market in a way that people can understand. Because, again, why, do pe why are people not taught about these things? Uh, even in business school, I can't tell you how many people write to me who just graduated from business school and say, my God, Greg, I never learned this stuff in business school. You can't learn this stuff in business school. This is real world, you know, in the trenches stuff that you learn from being a market participant. I am an active trader in this market. It's all I do. If I don't understand these markets, if I don't follow them every day, 24-7, I lose money. I don't, I, nothing in this world gets under my skin worse than when I lose a trade. That's the truth. I understand it's part of the business, but I don't like to lose. All right? I don't like to lose. So I need to know what's going on before it happens. This is why I'm outlining this for you. So now, let me just summarize real quick. I know it's long-winded here. We have a global economy in free fall. Our economy is in free fall. We have more calls for easy money. Why? Because our economy is in free fall. The Federal Reserve is going to be forced to lower rates faster now that President Trump raised tariffs on China. It was a strategic move and a smart one if you look at it through the perspective that he wants to lower rates. Again, why? To force more cash into the stock market. He wants to win the election. He will do whatever he needs to do. If that means you are going to be used as a puppet in this market, being forced to pay more for things because of the tariffs which will be passed on to you. Again, China's not paying the tariffs. The tariffs are paid by importers and exporters who pass on the price to you. Uh, it was, it's already been admitted by Larry Kudlow and other members of the president's own cabinet that China is not paying the tariffs, although the president will tell you that China is paying the tariffs. It's not true. It's a lie. Let's call it what it is. We're not taking in billions from China. We are losing hundreds of billions because of the trade gap, which is how, how wide it is already, and it's about to get wider. He will not tell you that. All right. You're not supposed to know this stuff. This stuff is kind of like hidden out there. And in order to understand what's being said to you or the lies that are being told to you, you have to understand the system. And again, very few people understand this system on the planet better than I do. And that's why I'm sitting here trying to relay this information to you. Um, so again, gauging from what the bond market is telling us right now, and the bond market is in a critical phase right now, and it's going to get worse uh, with more easy money coming, and there's going to be more quantitative easing. I want you to understand that. The Federal Reserve can't just say they're going to lower rates. They have to get into the market and make it happen. How do they do that? They print cash out of thin air. But the next phase is going to be an out-and-out out quantitative easing where they're going to get in here and start buying more debt. Not just that. I believe the Federal Reserve has been doing other things under the table with other central banks buying each other's debt, keeping it off balance sheet to make it look like their balance sheet shrinking, which I don't believe is happening. Their balance sheet runoff, which they talk about all the time, it's, it's a falsehood. It's not happening. Uh, but the Federal Reserve is going to devalue the dollar, and I've explained to you this is their next phase, and that's going to be an absolute overt, in-our-face quantitative easing to, to, to stop the bleeding. But you understand, they're out of bullets. Um, and the only thing we are looking at, you and, you and me, uh, is a worst case scenario, uh, an, an absolute total system meltdown and, and lockup. Again, a credit freeze is also coming down the pike. And the Federal Reserve at this point, in 2008, the Federal Reserve was able to 
unfreeze the credit markets by massive capital injections. Right now, understanding that the dollar is a unit of debt and the debt market is in the largest bubble in the history of the world and it's flashing, I mean, it's flashing right now that there is a problem, the Fed will not be able to do it. No amount of capital injections can unfreeze the credit market at that particular time, so you will not have access to any of your cash at all if you have it locked up in a bank. Uh, it just stands still. So we are right now, people, looking at a worst-case scenario unfolding in front of us here, but you have time. So I don't want you to freak out. I don't want you to panic. I want you to think. That's all I want you to do. I want you to think about, if again, if it just boils down to what your 401k plan is doing, and for a lot of people, that's what it is. A lot of people I talk to, it's about their 401k. It's about their investments on the long end of the market. Do you think this market has a greater probability of rising 20% in the short term or falling 20% or more in the short term? Gauging from what's happening in the debt market alone. This China trade thing is a, is a new dynamic in the market and it seems to be escalating. China is not going to back down. Let me explain that to you now. Um, all the talk, all the rhetoric that we've been hearing from our president and others uh, about China wanting a deal badly, this was the president, about how easy it w is to win trade wars. It's all been a lie to string you along so you don't, you're not able to see the things I have outlined for you right here. Now, the Fed is going to cut rates further and again, deeper, much deeper, and we're going to get this uh, new quantitative easing dollar devaluation, which is going to literally probably put the final nail in the coffin of the middle class. Uh, who are being used as pawns on a grand scale here. Um, and all it's going to do is, again, um, allow the corporate America and the military industrial complex to get richer uh, on our backs. You understand? It's a very simple concept to understand. But, but let's just put all that aside. I want you to ponder this. Gauging from what you're seeing in the bond market, gauging by the fact that we are going to get a 210 inversion and the market's going to start panicking, what do you need to do? with regard to your 401k plan, with your investments that make cash on the long end of this market, knowing that you are not smart enough to pull your cash out at the very top. This may be the very top of the market. I'm not calling for a top, but this may be a top. So you really want to ponder this. You want to sit down with your family members, with friends of yours, co-workers of yours, whoever it might be. You want to sit down today, over the next couple of days. I mean, there's no emergency here, but we're getting close to an emergency. Uh, and think about what you want to do and how you can protect yourself. Um, there are many avenues that you can take here if you're in a, a high-risk investment portfolio. You can fix it. You can sit down with uh, your investment advisor who I would w be willing to bet if you follow this blog, you are so much smarter than your investment advisor um, that he or she, you would leave them probably dumbfounded at the end. It's the truth. Uh, they don't have any idea about this. Again, it's not none of this stuff is taught in business school for the most part. Anyway, look, I know this is a very long video, but I think this is probably one of my most important videos I've ever done. If you would agree with me, please share this video. Get it out there. Let's try to help people. Look, why am I here? Why am I sitting here for all this time when I could really could do anything I want? Okay, I'm doing this because I care from the heart about people. I want people to start to think, all right? People have been dumbed down. It's about time to wake up and understand where we are, where we're going, the real plan underneath this all. Again, it's unstoppable. We're in an unstoppable situation and we are marching towards a worst case scenario. So you need to think about these things. With that said, I really do love you. I mean that. Oh, real quick, I am thrilled to see people utilizing my new chat room, which is completely free on my website. Um, and I'm getting a lot of feedback from the Quan system like you cannot believe. So uh, that's also free on my website. Everything is free for you. I'm on your side. You know that. People, we are responsible for each other. Let's make a difference. Do it now. Do it today. If not today, then when? All right, with that said, I'll see you um, at the end of the day.